saviors of mankind. Still, the human mind is always curious. It always seeks to unravel the secrets of history. One such seeker lives here in this quaint bungalow in Srinagar. Destiny has bestowed this seeker with opportunities and facilities to seek what lies beyond the obvious. Dr. Fida Hasnain is now the single most credentialed person who has an intimate interest and thorough knowledge of the theory that connects Jesus to India. He is the former director of archives, archaeology, research and museum for Kashmir and was once listed in Who's Who in Archaeology. Dr. Hasnain is MA, LLB, PhD and D.Lit and has been honored with a number of awards for his excellence in several streams of knowledge. It was indeed destiny that put him on the trail of doing research on the history of Jesus in India. It was by chance that I got interested in the subject. I happened to be the director of archives, archaeology and research and museum in the state and I would go to Ladakh often. We got stuck up there and we had no work so we were in search of books. So I went to the Marian Mission Library to search out some books so that we could read. And I became friendly with the caretaker of that Marian Mission. His name was Reverend Chatan Punsu. He told me that he has a very interesting reference about Saint Isa. I said, what do you mean by Saint Isa? And he told me about Isa, what you say, Hazrat Isa, one of the prophets. The name of Nicholas Nauti was, was there and it came to light that he had come to Ladakh. He had stayed at this uh, Hamas Gumpa and he obtained the life of Jesus Christ. In the late 19th century, Nicholas Notovic's book, The Unknown Life of Jesus Christ, had created quite a sensation. It contained texts from ancient Buddhist manuscripts describing the life of Jesus in India. In 1887, Nicholas Notovic was traveling on horseback in the Ladakh region. During the journey, he happened to visit an ancient Buddhist monastery near Leh. In these beautiful surroundings is situated the magnificent monastery of Hemis. These monasteries have stood tall since hundreds of years, braving the vagaries of time. These are the repositories of the teachings of the great Buddha, whose message of love and peace had reached the remote corners of the world hundreds of years before Christ. Away from the glamour and pollution of modernity, these monasteries maintain their possessions and way of life intact. Generations keep changing, but the acquisitions remain unchanged and uncorrupted. Nicholas Notovich stayed in this monastery for some days. During his stay, he befriended a Lama. The Lama shared some astonishing things with him. He showed him ancient scrolls which mentioned the story of Jesus in India. There are hundreds and thousands of ancient manuscripts in these archives. They contain discourses of the teachings of Buddha and great Buddhist monks of yore. Many of these manuscripts have come from other Tibetan monasteries and ancient universities like Nalanda of Magadha. Ancient India had several great universities learning centers and libraries like Nalanda, Vikramshila, Takshashila and Udantpuri. 
When the Mughals invaded India, they destroyed most of these universities. When the attacks were taking place, many Buddhist monks escaped to Tibet carrying loads of manuscripts and books with them. The Hemis manuscript which Notovich saw was perhaps one of such documents, which reached the Patola Palace in Lhasa. The original Pali version is still supposed to be there. What is in Hemis is a Tibetan translation of the original Pali text. These documents have been seen not only by Notovich, but by many others. A disciple of Ramakrishna Paramahans, Swami Abedananda, went to cross-check Notovich's discovery and published the text in his own book, Journey into Kashmir and Tibet. Many other explorers have also seen these documents. These scrolls also reveal the story of Jesus Christ between the age of 13 and 28 years. It is surprising that the Holy Bible contains no story of Jesus during this period. The scripture is completely silent about these years of Christ, but the scrolls of Hemis reveal all. The advent of Jesus Christ took place in the city of Bethlehem, in the state of Palestine, which is now Israel. Right from the time of his birth, this son of Mariam and Joseph became the synergia of the eyes of the wise and learned. When he grew up, he bewildered the elders with his explanations and interpretations of the scriptures. This extraordinary talented boy attracted and impressed one and all. People from all over flocked to hear him. The Hemis manuscripts tell us that around the age of 13, boy Jesus left his home and traveled to the east. He traveled through the famous Silk Route, which links Europe and Asia. Then he arrived in India. After crossing Punjab, Jesus reached Rajputana, the majestic land of Rajasthan. He spent some time with the Jains, the followers of Vardhaman Mahavira. Then he proceeded toward the east coast of India and reached the city of Jagannath Puri in Orissa. This town houses the ancient temple of Lord Jagannath. Lord Krishna is known as Jagannath here. Puri has been an ancient seat of Vedic culture and studies. This magnificent temple has been in existence hundreds of years before the birth of Christ. Even today, millions of devotees throng the temple, which is highly revered in the entire region. The Hemis manuscript discovered by Nicholas Notovich refers to Jesus as Isa. The scrolls reveal that young Isa studied Vedas in this city of Puri. He also learned to cure by aid and prayers and mastered many other spiritual techniques. Not only did Isa master the Vedic scriptures, he also started preaching their real meaning to the masses. Initially, the priests of Puri welcomed him, but later they grew jealous and started creating trouble. Isa was compelled to leave Jagannath Puri. He then moved to Rajgriha, the ancient capital of Magal. Lord Buddha had lived and preached here for a very long time. In those times, India's Magad Empire was the most advanced and happening place in the world. Magad had some of the best schools of learning. Young Isa is supposed to have attended some esoteric school in this kingdom. He started becoming familiar with the teachings of Lord Buddha. After Rajgriha, Jesus lived in the holy city 
of Varanasi for a few years. On the banks of Ganga, this city was known as Kashi during those times. Here, Isa studied holy scriptures and other sciences under a guru whose name is said to be Udraka. After some time, he left the city. According to Hemis manuscripts, Jesus came to Ladakh after traveling through Nepal, Tibet and other parts of the Himalayas.